If you would like to get your hands on GTA 5 Shark Card Cash for absolutely free whenever you guys want it, then click the link in the description below to appbounty.net and use code NPF for a bonus. Something which no one's done is basically try and find out exactly where Brad's lives. But look at this, there's a barn on this side, there's also the silo on that side, but I wonder what his house is going to look like, guys. So comment in the comment section below exactly what you think Brad's house looks like. So I'm going to take a look down here. Brad lives here somewhere, guys. He lives here somewhere, but we're going to go up every single row and see if we can find it. I haven't actually been this far back from North Yankton as well. Everything is just so misty. You can barely see in front of you. Wait, wait, what's this? I haven't seen this before. What? If you would like to get your hands on a brand new Xbox One or PlayStation 4 for absolutely free, then click the link in the description below to my huge giveaway. Good luck and enjoy the video. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Nort and something which I've been wondering to myself for quite a while now is two questions. Just two very simple questions and for those of you guys who know the character Brad, then you will know that in his GTA wiki, his actual home is in North Yankton. This means that Brad lives in the place where Prologue takes place, which does make sense because he is literally robbing a bank in that location at the start of campaign. But something which no one's done is basically try and find out exactly where Brad lives. So that's exactly what we're going to do in today's video. We're going to use our mod menu to become Brad and then explore North Yankton in the Prologue mission and see if we can find any houses or anything which might resemble exactly where Brad might live. And this is the type of question which I've just been thinking about because I looked in the GTA wiki after doing so many videos on Brad and I realized, oh wait, he actually lives in North Yankton. So how cool would it be if we actually found the house he lives at? So that's exactly what we're going to do today, guys. If you do go on to enjoy today's episode though, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. That would be amazing. Once again, let's try and smash. You know what, guys? I'm not even going to set a like goal on this video. Let's just see how many likes we can get on this video. Let's just try and smack it through the roof or something. So that's your goal to do today. But let's just get straight into things. And this is going to be interesting because we're going to be exploring the parts of Prologue, which we haven't explored before. We're going to be going backwards away from the city instead of towards the city. So we're going to go into a few awesome locations and uh, I'm kind of interested to see exactly what we're going to find. So there's Amanda on the floor. We just got it down there. How's it going, Amanda? <laughs> Wait, there's a Christmas card on here. What does that say? Happy Christmas. Okay, let's go. Oh, okay, so we're gonna get all of the hostages into the back room What we need to do is play through prologue until we get to the part where we're driving away in the car And then we're gonna delete the car We're gonna become Brad and then we're going to explore North Yankton to see exactly where Brad lives And we're gonna try and find his house. So this is just gonna be awesome guys We're gonna bring up the phone We're gonna take off the doors and something else I want to mention guys is that I am totally coffee free now I know you've seen it in a few videos. I've like had coffee in loads of videos Actually, I'm always pouring coffee and drinking it. I've totally given it up now I've given it up like a week and and uh, I don't think I'm going to drink it anymore. So that's the update on coffee. I know you guys have been asking me, where's my coffee gone? I'm not drinking it anymore. That's that's the answer, guys. I've given it up. I've literally just gone caffeine free. Shoulder ride. Hey, we got you, Michael. We're good. <laughs> Piggyback ride. Hey. <laughs> well, I guess that kind of works. Explosions. Molotov. Tank shell. Oh, boy. Car. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, what have we done? We failed the mission because Brad died. He wasn't even with us. What? I don't know where he's gonna live. To be honest, I'm gonna go backwards on North Yankton first. We're not gonna go towards the city because I think the city is always that part everyone checks out. Uh, so we're gonna go backwards and we're gonna see if we can find Brad's house there. And I'm kind of intrigued to see exactly what we're gonna find because we're gonna be taking a look at the part of North Yankton no one takes a look at. But what we do know, guys, is that if you take a look at the GTA wiki, if you look into Brad's biography, he lives in North Yankton. Oh my gosh, get a taste of the grenades. <laughs> Boom! And the dirt is gone. All right, well, they're, they're pretty much done. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get inside this car, guys. And this is the moment of truth, because this is the part where we get to see exactly where Brad lives. Whoa, those cars are still exploding. And like I said, guys, we're going to go backwards on this and see if we can find any houses when we go backwards. So there's the driver. Let's take him out. Go on, Michael. There he goes. <laughs> so this is the moment of truth. I'm going to set everything up. So we're going to go into my no clip. We're going to delete this car, and we're going to quickly just become Brad. And there we go, boys. We have now become Brad. We can now explore North Yankton however we want to. Michael and Trevor just chilling there. Unfortunately, that's pretty much their use for the entire of this game now. They can just chill here for the rest of it while we go and find out exactly where Brad's house is. So I'm going to go and grab this car over here and we're going to drive backwards and see if we can find his house. But look at this. There's a barn on this side. There's also the silo on that side. But I wonder what his house is going to look like, guys. So comment in the comment section below exactly what you think Brad's house looks like. So I'm going to take a look down here. I do know that parts of Prologue and parts of North Yankton are non-existent pretty much. So we've got to be careful about that. Although I think 
I think this is the end of the line for this part. Let's just creep forward. Creep forward. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah, okay, we're gonna fall. We're gonna fall if we go through that. Yeah, let's not do that. All right, so yeah, as you saw there, there's kind of like a, a frame around North Yangtze. If you go past that, uh, then you're gonna fall straight through the map. So we've got to make sure we don't go onto those parts. So there's quite a bit of stuff to explore. But yeah, like I said, if we go through that, then we are screwed. So we've got to make sure we're careful about that. But there we go. We're in North Yangtze. There's Brad's rock and rolling. And we're gonna go and find out exactly where he lives. So let's just keep going. Let's do this. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We got this barn down here. I'm going to go and explore like all of the roads going down each side as well and see if we can see anything down there. But this is a new for me as well because I don't really check out the back end part of North Yankton. We always go forward. We don't go backwards. Uh, but there's a barn there. Can we go inside that barn? This is what the barn looks like. That's pretty awesome. All right. So there's the sign. The very famous sign. We have welcome to Ludendorff. And down there, Brad has to live somewhere. So we're going to take a look down there and see if we can find Brad's house. But before we do so, let's Let's just take a quick sneak peek up through here and see if anything's changed inside the vault uh, because of course we have just raided it so something might have changed. Can we go through here? We still can't go through the security room which is still the exact same like there's an entire secret room behind here which has just confused me so much like look at this it's all security it's just not used we can't even see a photo of that room anywhere in GTA 5 it's just totally wasted. Oh the vault doors back on okay so they closed that everything's been repaired. But the sprinklers are still on, so they re they replaced the doors, but they kept the sprinklers on. Okay, congratulations, Rockstar. I'm not too sure how many of you guys have seen this, but if you take a look on the sign just in the corner, there's some writing saying this town sucks. So if you like Easter eggs and stuff, then that's a pretty cool Easter egg. And uh, you can actually see that in Prologue. It's right behind the getaway car. Maybe it was the getaway driver just like doodling on the sign waiting for us to rob the bank. Can we go down here? Where does this road expire? Oh, it's so misty. It is so misty. Brad, we're going to find your house, buddy. We're going to find your house. Oh, okay. We can't go any further. No, no, no. <laughs> All right. I'm going to use my no clip. Get back up here. Get back up here. Oh my gosh. Okay. So that's exactly what happens in case you guys are wondering. If you go over the edge, then you are screwed. But we're going to go up every single road and see if we can find it. I haven't actually been this far back in North Yankton as well. Like unless we've been using mods and stuff, I haven't been this far back. So look at this. Everything is just so misty. You can barely see in front of you. Oh. Is this, is this the end of the line? Yeah, that's the end of the line. Okay, that's interesting. So you can't go any further back. This is as far back as you can go. Okay, so that's pretty much where the barrier is. You can't go any further than this. There's loads more buildings in the city. So I guess we'll go and check out the city and check out these ones at the side as well and see if we can find anything there. But this is getting kind of interesting, guys, because you can't go any further back now. We pretty much hit the back end of North Yankton. Let's go forward and see if we can find any other houses. I guess there's this house here, but I'm not too sure if Brad would live here. It's like an entire barn and stuff. Uh, but there is this house here, so if you guys want to have any suspicions and stuff, then there is that place. Brad lives here somewhere, guys. He lives here somewhere. All right, so we've got this place. Can we go through it? No, it's solid. Okay, so this place looks like a barn. You know, I'm going to use my object spooner for this. So we don't have to drive around all the time. This place looks like just a barn and stuff. There's nothing on the inside. Nothing on the inside as well. Still nothing on the inside. So all of these buildings are just completely empty. Another warehouse with hay bales in, so he's definitely not inside there. We just need to try and find an average house, like something which looks like a house which Brad could live in. And I'm going to use my no clip for this because I don't want to drive around in the snow all the time. But we're going to check out every single location and see if any of them do resemble houses. We've got all of these warehouses and shops and stuff, but we still can't find a house. Although I guess there's an apartment block here. So there's a, there's a few apartment blocks. So maybe Brad might live in an apartment or something. But even so, I don't think we can get inside it. I think it's too unrendered. So in case you're wondering where he could live, then he could potentially live in an apartment block. Okay, we've got a house here. We've got two houses here, I guess. So he could live inside those. But even so, I think Brad lives inside an apartment. But guys, we're not going to end things here. No, no, no. I know you guys want to see Brad return home and stuff. And I know you guys want to see him get back home. So what I'm going to do is uh, just help Brad out a little bit. And I'm going to spawn in this mod, which basically completely turns North Yankton into a huge city. It gives him houses. It gives him loads of awesome things like that. And we're going to just give Brad a house. I think it's just going to be awesome. So I'm going to load in this mod. And uh, let's just spawn this in and let's see what it looks like and there we go we're just going to go up this street and we're going to give brad his brand new home now something which i know you guys might recognize is that one we're still in prologue and we've just completely
completely transformed North Yankton, which is awesome. But two is that I've already done a video with this mod, but this mod has been updated so much since. Pretty much the entire city has transformed, so many things have been added to it, and uh, I think you guys are going to love it. So if you want to mess around with North Yankton, completely transform the entire city, I will leave a link to this mod in the description below so you guys can go and check it out. There it is. There's his garage. So let's take Brad inside, and uh, let's just give him his home. So we're going to take the car inside. Oh, okay, we got Deborah. A photo of Deborah. Can we get that removed? <laughs> Can we remove that? I don't want that here. I love how it's the smashed photo of Deborah as well. It's not even the clean one, it's the smashed one. I think this is the stairs or the elevator. And this is the apartment. So I guess this is what Brad's place would look like in North Yankton if we were to find his house. He's got his bath, he's got his toilet. Uh, he's got a plant, and we've also got a nice window on the inside. We've got some great interior design, a sofa, a TV. Can we watch the TV? Would it allow us to watch it, or uh, is it a no? No power? No power. That's cool. Brad doesn't need electricity anyway. <laughs> he's lying low for a few months. He's just done a huge heist. <laughs> All right, so we got some pizza. We got some drinks. We got some burger shots. Brad's also got himself a bedroom as well. And let's just go and take a look outside. So we're going to go through this door. We've got some dudes playing the guitar. We got this guy. We got a lady dancing and stuff. We've also got an apartment over there, though. So I might go and check out that apartment and see exactly how that's going on. I think we're going to go inside this one for now. So as you can see, we have a bed. We've also got an elevator there. Let's go down the elevator in a minute. We've got the door there as well. We've got some windows. Let's go through here and see exactly what's through here. The elevator. It takes you up to an upper floor. Look at this, guys. So this is like an entire apartment, and they've got cats. These guys have cats in their apartment. They've also got some next level stuff here. Like, so I don't want to touch that stuff. I think I'll break it. And just taking a look outside, we got these guys just grooving. How's it going, dude? We've got a guy on a guitar. We've got a lady just dancing. We've also got this dude. Everyone's just grooving. They're having a great time. And uh, I guess this is what it would look like if you were to go to North Yankton with Brad and find his house in North Yankton. But this was awesome, guys. I think I'm going to end the video here. So if you did enjoy today's episode, please don't leave without smashing that thumbs up button. That would be amazing. Let's try and smash our goal of 5,000 likes, or let's just see how many likes we can get on this video. I'm leaving it down to you guys. So uh, let's just see how many likes we can get. But this was awesome. I'm glad we managed to get Brad his house. I'm glad we could do this because we know he lives in either an apartment or a house, and uh, we've pretty much explored both options and stuff. So at least we've taken him home to somewhere where he would have lived and uh, something which may have looks like some place which he would have lived at as well. So this was awesome guys. Once again, if you did enjoy it, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you are new here so you don't miss out on awesome stuff like this on a daily basis and let me know your thoughts, questions or queries or any other video ideas you would like to see me do on this channel in the comments section below. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Nort and until next time, stay absolutely awesome. This place is amazing. I will leave the link in the description below. So uh, enjoy it and uh, have some fun. I'll see you guys next time.